He's just not the seasoned camera person that I am. Oh, he sucks at it. <laughs> I do not. Yeah, you do. I don't. I did you, too. You do. Because all you did when I said, hey, you got to get me in the video. Hey, we're looking at the motor. And you're sitting there going, <laughs> you're looking at what you want to look at, not what everybody else wants to look at. I wasn't very good in the beginning either. <clears throat> True. <laughs> all right. I'm walking away from the gold car. So this is the car. Not too long ago, I got I showed I didn't let Stacy video the motor. <coughs> My Buick. Very nice. I've wanted one of these cars forever. I wanted either one that had never been touched and was all stock or one that I could do the way I wanted to do. So this car used to belong, I can't say his last name, it's Italian, but everybody called him Tony O. I think this was the first stock block Buick to ever go in the nines. So everything done to this car was done 20 years ago. But it is super clean. Here's what, here's what shocked me. Back, back when he did this car, he had the best of everything that, at the time. Because <coughs> that welded pump, 2345, you guys know those welded pumps, they are not freaking cheap. I thought the most shocking thing was going to be the glove box. Oh. <laughs> So, when I tell Tony I want this car, and we were going to do a deal on it, he goes, man, I can't find the glove box. I said, really? I said, it's already, uh, we're missing a door panel. So, you, they call you Tony O because it's, oh, by the way, I don't have the glove box. Or, oh, by the way, I don't have the door panel. Or, oh, by the way, oh, by the way. He goes, man, that's wrong. Because I'm busting his balls hard over this fucking car. So... He, there's a guy up by where he lives at. He lives up by Chicago. That's got a bunch of these Buicks. He calls him, try to buy a glove box. I don't have a glove box. Tony's pissed because he knows the guy's got glove boxes out the ass. So this has been a big deal. He has basically been losing his fucking mind over the glove box. He goes, "Hey, buddy, mine found the door panel." I'm like, "Cool. Where's my glove box, man? I'm working on that." So. I get the car, he brings the car to me. I pop the trunk. We're checking it Swear out. Swear to God. Bam. The glove box. Now here's what's so funny about that. So when I told him, I said, hey dude, uh, and I was jacking with him saying, yeah, I bought a glove box and man, it was super high. And he's like, man, I'll, I'll make that up, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, I'm fucking with you, dude. It was in the trunk. Swear to God. Stacy, he goes, was it really or did you put it in there? No, I didn't put it in there, Tony. It was in the trunk. You never popped the trunk and looked to see if anything was in there? Well, I, I, I didn't. Five minutes later, was it really in there? And Stacy goes, he, he's not getting, I said, oh, he's going to ask you at least two more times. He did. So I had to walk out here and show him the glove box. <laughs> and I still think he drove back to Chicago thinking I put the glove box in the trunk. Which, by the way, Tony, I didn't. <laughs> it was literally in the trunk. So, I got this little car. And, yeah, it's dirty, but you can tell. I mean, seats aren't ripped up. It has a nice chrome molly. 
the, the, the guy actually did a great job. It's an 850 30 cage, but he put the, the, the funny car, one part of the funny car bar in to right here to where it would be real easy to go right 750 with it, which I thought was really cool that the guy thought that far ahead. So everything he had done to this car back in the day was really, really nice. I mean, look, factory door panels with the cage. So, now, for all you Buick Bu Bu fags, I'm fixing to really fucking set your asses up. Go around that way, Stacey, and I'll show them the motor I'm gonna put in between the Nova. A mystery motor. You guys would have just seen Stacy squeezing between my Nova and the, and the four post lift. That's some funny shit. I gave him some sound effects. You all see the Buick motor? Yeah, let's do the ta da. Vanna, show us the motor. <laughs> Ooh. Those steel TD rockers. LS7 CMC ported heads. Yeah. LSX, 440 cubic inch, LS. Let's get a shot of those TND rockers. So, this motor is, uh, like I said, it's a, it's a set of really nice CNC LS7 cylinder heads, uh, Howard's cam, my boy Kelly Blue Ball. Blue Ball, not Blue Balls. Guys, don't be dickheads. Blue Ball, who actually was driving Reaper the first year of MPK, and a real good friend of mine, very good friend of mine, built this motor. I sent him all the parts, and he's been building this motor for me. I've been wanting the right thing to put it in, and I don't know why, but it just seems like the greatest. Wow. Stacy, is that, is that, oh, never mind, you smoke detectors for dinner time, was I forgot? <laughs> yes, I do. So, or doorbells. So, now, you know what? Don't show them that motor. Derek, it's really going to piss you off. Wait till you find out what this motor is. So, the Buick, which is killing me in my, in my, of course, my ADHD, I'm wanting to roll that Buick in here and start putting the motor in it right now. Now, Brantley decided yesterday there's the Pro Charger for it. I've got all the, of course, all the Holly stuff for it. Um, the, the Holly Serpentine where I can both the, put air conditioner back on it. Uh, probably going to go 4L80. Mr. Wendell just built me a 4L80E that'll, that'll hold up to it. So that's going to be my Buick combination that I want to start on right now. I tell myself until this car is done, red car is tested, I'm not touching the Buick, but it is wearing me the fuck out. That's why the doors being open is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. so I sit there and look at that Buick, which it had, you need to post some of them pictures that Tony sent me on. It had drag stars on it and I put those coys on it because really I have a different plan for that car than what everybody thinks. Um, can I tell them the other part of it? Just one wait. Oh, Stacy don't know the other part. You know my? You know my suspensions? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know that whole story. <laughs> Holy crap. Whoa. The coop. Oh. Um, talking with the UMI right now, what I want to do with the Buick is I want to make it the car that I go do a road course or a short track or autocross or the racetrack. I think I got the right motor. I think I got the right combination. <clears throat> David at UMI, 
they're kind of trying to figure some stuff out to see what exactly we need to do. He goes, man, you know, it's really hard to take this car and do this with it. And I said, hey, I don't want to, I don't want it to be the best at any one thing, but I want it to do well at all of them. So it won't be a top contender at the racetrack. It won't be a top contender at, at, at an autocross. It won't be a top contender on, on a road course, but I want it to do well. So that is actually my triple threat car that um, I was gonna do with the 63 Corvette, but come on, it's gonna be a Grand National. Way better than the 63. The only thing that'll change all of this, there's one guy that has a Buick Grand National that has a motor in it that I'm trying to buy the motor stuff out of. Terrence, if you're watching this, you need to get off your ass and make a decision, brother, before I shove this LS motor in it. And I'm not gonna tell anybody what that one is. That will be another surprise. So, right now, you know, you guys know she ain't hearing Stacy because she's been drinking rum and coke. So, she's scared to say anything because she started giggling. Her glass is empty and she's ready to refill. Empty glass. Because you're using short glasses. <laughs> Half stepper. <laughs> All right. We're out.